today's video i'll be teaching you guys everything you guys need to know about arena breakout l system so this is a beginner guided tutorial for you guys that is playing arena breakout for the very first time arena breakout l system consists of three major l status which is wounds injuries and broken parts several body parts in arena breakout that can deal damage which is your head abdomen right arm left arm right leg and left leg in today's video i'll be also breaking on the most cost effective option in the game that you guys can use at all times to attend to your injuries so if you guys find this video helpful and you need more guides and tips and tricks about arena breakout and need to learn more things about arena breakout go ahead and leave a like on the video and also subscribe for more so let's get into the video guys wounds in arena breakout can be caused by going against an object or an item here's a perfect example on screen in which you can see my character rubbing against this bag wire which is definitely going to cause my player to get wounded Wounds can be also caused by standing too close to a bomb and when it explodes you can also get wounded. A wound icon will show up on your screen which represents your character's bleeding out in which you need a bandage to attend to your wounds. Injuries in arena breakout, so after engaging into PvP fights and damage from just a grenade, maybe a teammate or a grenade or something and it's uh, exploded in front of you, your character icon will change from this. To this once your character icon changed from white to orange that means you need medical attention you have to use med kits these are all the med kits in the game that you can use to get treatment once you begin the game your body status look like this here but with critical damage your health status will look like this all your arms and legs being blocked out along with your chest and your abdomen and your head being in orange once your chest and your head is in orange one tap to the head or chest that means this lights up for you and this is where surgical kits come into play to treat all the broken parts of your body yo so if you guys find that information very helpful at learning the l system in arena breakout go ahead and leave a like on the video also comment and leave your feedback below let me show you guys the best medical equipment to take into anywhere with you whether you're playing valid not rich armory or tv station that is coming soon in arena breakout and they are the most cost effective and very efficient to get you back up on your feet so this is the way most of you guys will pack your chest rig at the beginning of starting the game for the first time you pack with a bunch of items as a beginner which i must give you props because this is the same way i used to do it too but as soon as i understand the l system and i'm going to break out this is the way i pack my rig now this is the way i pack my rig and i will let you know the reason why i do this because there are certain items especially for med kits so med kit will act as a bandage and also act as an eel, right? And especially this med kit here, which is the 1000 battlefield med kit. This thunder military first aid kit, right? As you can see on the right side there, what this med kit does is uh, minus your hydration treatments. Just it barely treats you in any way possible in the game. So you have to constantly like take four, five, six of these to fully uh, recover your wounds. While the one on the left, which is the 1000 by the will 100% recover your wounds. So this is, all, it, even though it's more costly than the one who's to the right, it's more efficient when you're in a game. And there's something also I forgot to mention to you guys, which is also a big part of the arena breakout L system, which is drinks, energy drinks. Because you do get exhausted and tired and fatigued in arena breakout in which you need energy drinks. And one of my favorite energy drinks to use in the game, in the game is Turin's. It's with two inches, it gives you hydration, it gives you uh, energy and assist you with stamina. So these are the stats here on screen. But if you should compare it to a normal uh, beginner starting the game for the first time using water, right? It gives you hydration, but it doesn't give you as much as a two in does, which is energy. So this also, when you're bringing the two in, which is an energy drink, and it's giving you all these uh, stuff in game with stamina, assist with stamina. You don't, you save space in your rig. So you don't overcrowd your rig with multiple items in which you don't need. The other best energy drinks to use in the game, which will be this Nom Nom energy drink. For most cost effective, I go with the Turin. There's four different types of surgical kits in the game. There's a simple uh, pack surgical kit, and there's the standard battlefield surgical kit, and there's a standard military surgical kit. For all the surgical kits you can find in the game, this is the best option for surgical kit. But the most cost effective would be this one. There's sometimes in Arena Breakout you have broken parts and you want to get behind cover, but your character is moving very slowly. So that's where painkillers comes in into play. These are the two best painkillers that you can find. The X painkiller is the best painkiller in the game, but it's very expensive. While the AP painkiller is, it does the same job as the X painkiller, but also it's very cost effective. 
So the majority of the players that you see play Arena Breaker will normally use the AP Painkiller. So the duration for the AP Painkiller, once you take the Spin Killer, lasts for 210 seconds. The X Spin Killer lasts for 300 seconds. Also, guys, there are some things which is called stimulants in the game. I haven't forgot about these guys here. These guys are very helpful, especially if you're playing those big maps, Valley and Northridge, and especially for armor, and you guys want to stack up on a lot of loot. And you guys, sometimes you guys find yourself slowly moving. Well, if you're slowly moving in the game, you need to bring a strength with you. Stem once your bag is packed, take a stem, then take an endurance. Endurance, which will help with stamina. So with this guy here, which is called a regen, with regen, it continuously gives you HP and it only lasts for 100 seconds. So for 100 seconds, once you take the regen, you get HP continuously. I think it gives you about 10 or 15 plus HP or regeneration, but not when you're critical damage. So that's it for today's video, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that, these types of content. And if you guys are looking for more, go ahead and show this video some love. I definitely appre appreciate it. It takes me three days to get everything together and to edit this video. So I would appreciate if you guys drop a like on the video once more and also follow me on my social media, especially on my Discord and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss out when I'm uploading awesome content like these ones and also doing live streams. So guys, see you in the next one.